Hey folks, Jerome Forsworth here. It's 2.57 p.m. on January 25th, 2023 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 7 degrees outside and a cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.4 kilometers starting by the transit bus stop at West Hastings in Seymour. Then stroll southwest on Granville, ending my trek by the transit bus stop at Granville and Davie. If you would like to support the channel and help me purchase some new equipment, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforsewood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Button, share it and subscribe so we're gonna do one more narrated video and just cuz you folks are asking I'll continue to do unnarrated videos as well. Maybe of course, I did film seven videos <laughs> in North Vancouver and West Vancouver uh, while I was getting feedback from folks. So that's why there's a little split between narrated videos and uh, a big swath of unnarrated videos. But that's just a learn-as-you-go process when you have a channel. We're on West Hastings right now. We're uh, gonna meander down Granville. This is one of the station's accesses to the waterfront station for the SkyTrain. This will take you down to the Expo Live. Expo Line goes to places like uh, Commercial Broadway Station by Commercial Drive, which is the driver Little Italy, or Joyce Murray. Or Nanaimo Station, which are located close to the Kingsway, and a whole bunch of strip, whole long strip of uh, restaurants and shops on the Kingsway. Of course, we're in uh, downtown Vancouver right now, meandering up uh, Granville Street. Crossing West Pender. <laughs> this, of course, is one of the things I like about Vancouver that you don't get as much of in Toronto, which is uh, food trucks. And food carts. Of course, in Toronto, or right now, it's a, I believe, a snowstorm. So, I don't see too many food trucks selling a lot of food today. <laughs> Over here, it's a nice uh, seven degrees, and the humidity is making it feel just a little bit warmer because that's what humidity does. I'm just wearing an overshirt that is nice and thick and uh, my nice collared polo underneath so as opposed to a bushy warm coat and a sweater and then an undershirt if I was in Toronto. Just passing Holt Renfrew right now here on Granville Street. Oh, Renfrew is part of the uh, Pacific Center Mall, but it's got its own separate section with a bridge that goes into the main part of Pacific Center Mall.
This is Granville and Dunsmuir. Granville, like Robson Street, is one of those young street equivalents in Vancouver. Young Street, of course, being in Toronto, where I moved from. We're just walking along the outside of Pacific Center Mall right now. If I was to say there's an equivalent to the Eaton Center from Toronto, uh, Pacific Center Mall would be that equivalent here in Vancouver. One of the local street preachers, uh, as opposed to Young and Dundas being the main corner where street preachers and musicians and everyone goes in Toronto and Vancouver, it's more spread out, partly because the weather's a little nicer, of course. You know, we don't have snow here right now. Well, Toronto's in a deep snowstorm today. Just watching some of the coverage and just seeing some of the old streets my partner and I used to live on. <laughs> kind of happy we're here right now. <laughs> but, you know, like Robson and Granville, uh, of course, West Georgia and Granville, any of the subway stations, Robson Square, and uh, even over out in front of Waterfront Station. I mean, or Canada Place. That's where a lot of artists are. Hmm, there's one artist right now. Let's go uh, check it out. Oh, you
a very loud uh, new Adidas store, I think. Uh, I'm playing some hip hop music. <laughs> Speak easy the bar, sports bar, usually has some happy hour deals you can get if you want to get some cheaper food deals. And happy hour is something to cross Vancouver too, so if you're looking for deals and, you, and you're not happy to work at that point in time, you can sneak in usually between 3 to 6 and you know, you can get a burger that's like $2 off or a beer shot that's $2 off or whatever floats your boat. And even like, uh, you know, milk tea shops have those types of deals too. I find it fascinating because you don't see the same thing in Toronto. There's rarely ever a happy hour deal. It's something I uh, really appreciate, appreciate about Vancouver. Of course, Jamaican patties, that's something I miss from Toronto because I don't really have a lot of that here. There's a few places, but uh, mm, it's kind of harder to go and pick up a dozen baked <laughs> like I would if I was in Kensington Market in Toronto. So we're crossing Nelson Street on Granville. Because Granville is a busier street and uh, there's a lot more restaurants open day and night. You'll see some interesting characters on this street, uh, panhandling or just gathering. If you just mind your business, generally they mind their business too. So we're crossing Helmeckin on Granville right now. Eighth and Main, one of the clothing stores here.
and tacos, taps, and tequila. And their happy hour special is 249 tacos. Hmm. Here's one of those quasi-legal magic mushroom shops right now. Haven't tried it yet. Know a few friends who had. They said they had a good time. It is kind of quasi-legal right now, so... Um, I know one shop in Vancouver was shut down. That's why I kind of stay away from it. If they do legalize in the future, maybe I'll try. Glenn's Coffee Shop, very popular. <laughs> they have a gingerbread latte that's really, really good. Just gonna end uh, the video here so uh, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe like and uh, share the channel